Hey guys, it's Redstone MC Man, and today I'm just going to quickly show you how to make this really simple, or m really simple, um, the simplest way I've seen to make a, um, a lock system. So, I created this, I don't know if anybody else has, again, I, I haven't really looked on YouTube, maybe somebody else has, but I wanted a really easy way to create a lock system where you just put in a code and it unlocks a door that if you know you press random buttons or anything else you know you can't get in so I created this system it's um it's moderately big but even so it's really simple and anybody can really do it so I just wanted to show you guys how this worked and um, yeah so let me show you okay so as you can see here if I press any of these buttons this floor drops and that's just to show like in a lot of um actually made a different lock system over there that if you get the lock if you put in the wrong code the floor will drop from beneath you and you'll die with lava so i just you know just put this here as a demonstration kind of thing that this means nothing happens but if you put in the right order so let's say here i have the code so nine three eight two four one seven this door opens so um so now i will explain to you how this works so this is where the first input comes in and this connects to this piston now this button here is number nine so when i press number nine what happens i'll show you um watch this block right here so let me press the button nine okay so this piston gets um gets power which then pushes this block in the way so this basically sets up for the next number so when the next number comes through which is let's see which is three if i press it w you'll see what happens is <coughs> it will go through here uh, it will reset this piston, so it will actually push the block back in the way, and it will set up the next block for the next number that's coming. So here, I'll press it, and then you can see what happens. So when I press 3, see, that sets up, and then that resets the system. So now, if I were to, let's say, press the um, second number again, so let's say 3. If I were to press 3 again, what would happen is the whole thing would reset and the floor would drop from beneath me. So watch. That goes down and everything is reset again. So the idea is that when there is no block in the way, that's why it resets every time, and there is no block in the way, the redstone can travel down here. And when the block is in the way, it can't. So down here, this just basically leads to this little reset system right here, and then also leads to the floor dropping beneath you. So it's a really, really simple design. And again, let me just quickly show you. So nine, so you can see that working. Um, three, you can see that one moves, that one resets. Uh, eight, wait a second. Right. And again, it, it just keeps setting its uh setting itself up. So and then this one. See, so it just continues until it gets to the end, where again it resets itself but then sends wire all the way down, which then opens this door. So that's basically it. Um that is my lock system. I can put up a tutorial if somebody wants it. Again, you can add as many of these modules as you want to have as many numbers as you want. So it's totally uh, extendable and it's really easy to build. You literally, I'll show you um, right now, I guess, really easily how you build it. All you need to do, piston here, piston here. And then you just continue this process. The other way, piston here, piston here. And you just continue this out. And then you put a block. Let me get a block. You put a block. Let's see where I put it. Yeah, right there. 
So you put a block every time right here. And first, actually, you should probably take away the ground from underneath. So throughout every all of these pistons, what you're going to want to do is take away the ground like this. Make sure all the ground is gone so you can put redstone underneath. Anyways, I'm not going to do this right now. but So you just basically set it up like that. And then you have the input, which comes in right here for all the buttons. Right? And then you can have redstone connected down here again t for your reset system. So it can connect. And then you put for each one of these sides one of these guys. And then you just connect it like this. Really easy. One, two, three. And you connect it up just like this. Oops. And you just continue this process. It's exactly the same for all of them. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And you just connect it with redstone. Whoops. And yeah, you just continue like this. And then you'll build one. So if you want me to build an entire tutorial on how to do this, um, just let me know. And I will definitely do that. But this is just gives you an idea. So if I put a stone here, it goes like that. Put this here, just like that. And again, you can see how it's working right now. See, and then it just continues up here. Uh, so it, it moves a block each time, one over. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please a uh, thumbs up, uh, rate, subscribe, or anything you want. And I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.